It's cold and flu season and anyone with a sore throat or a nagging cough is always looking for the latest and greatest remedy. Our living well expert Tamika <laughs> Fletcher is here with why you can forget the pharmacy. Look no further than your kitchen. I love this idea. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good and I'm going to be better after I get these ideas because how many times do you, are you at home and you don't want to go buy something? You don't feel like it. So you have some ideas that you might be able to find in your kitchen. Exactly. You can find these things in your kitchen and they're less, less toxic and less expensive and they actually don't taste bad and so yeah. when you're feeling bad you want something that maybe tastes good a little bit be a little bit uh, comforting just a little bit comforting and so these are some of my favorite remedies all you need for cough drops to make your very own cough drops it's just raw honey I do recommend raw honey because sometimes the processed honey doesn't really cook the same mm -hmm. way and so the goal here is just to fill up a pot full of honey you don't want to get it too full mm -hmm. because it'll actually boil over so once you filled it up Put a, you can find a candy thermometer just about mm -hmm. anywhere. I found this one at Bearings. You can find them at the uh, craft store, mm -hmm. but they're really inexpensive, about $3. Boil this till it's about 300 degrees. You want to get it hard enough to crack. If you don't have one of these, you can boil honey, drop it in hot and cold water. When it becomes hard, you know that it's ready. Uh -huh. And so if you don't have a candy mold, it's fine. You can just use powdered sugar. Make little... Uh, indentations with something round inside the sugar and it actually will drain right in there. I found this nifty little thing to and use. And you're using just powdered sugar, right? Just powdered mm -hmm. sugar, pure cane sugar. Pour the hot honey right on top and it'll harden in about 30 minutes. And if you use just about a tablespoon of Jack Daniels and a little bit of honey, it's really soothing. Now you don't want to use the Jack Daniels for the children. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe right. peppermint candy right. or something like that to soothe their throat. But honey is a great thing to soothe your throat. It's got antibacterial properties that really help with the cold. So this, these are idea. all just, I it, love it. This is just another idea with honey. So the idea with this one is just to grate ginger. Mm -hmm. Once you have your ginger grated, you want to put it right inside of the tea. Pour honey right on top of that. And then you have lots of lemons. Lots of lemons. But this you can actually let sit in the refrigerator for about three months once this is full of honey. Once it's full, sit it in the refrigerator, take out about a tablespoon, put it inside of tea or whatever you want to mix it into, mm -hmm. and it really does help. And put as much ginger as you want, the more the better. How interesting. I love it. And then let's just talk about your cough syrup again real quick. So we talked about instead of making it hard, you would just add the, the Jack Daniels. Yes. And the do, you, do you have to boil it or anything like that? You do. You boil it until it's 300 degrees. So the degrees. same thing as the cough drops. Mm -hmm. The Jack Daniels and the honey, and that will mm -hmm. get hard. But if you want a cough syrup, something that's easier to take right. and not a tea, you can use onions and honey together. Once you put the onion in the pot, then you want to put honey right over it and you can actually let this sit again three months in the refrigerator because the honey acts as a preservative so once this is boiled maybe about 30 minutes on low heat not really boiling but you want to let the honey get warm and you want the onions to get soft now my grandmother used to put onion around her neck or next to her bedside because uh -huh. she really believed that it stopped the flu and I've read so many things about all the wonderful things onion can do for the flu um, just full of all of these great enzymes and sulfurs that mm -hmm. help to absorb the flu. So Now, earlier you said that they all taste good, and I believe you because I, you always are tried and true, but I <laughs> but can't <laughs> picture how onions and honey are going to taste good. You know, it's kind of sweet and pungent at the same time, uh -huh. a little savory. It actually tastes really sweet. You know, once onions are cooked, they're soft, and they right. can be sweet. It's an odd taste, kind of, but it is actually really good. But again, it's a cough syrup that will help suppress that cough so that it you're does. not hacking around everybody. It does, and it's natural, no toxins, very easy. And inexpensive. Brilliant, Tamika. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to post all these on our website. I'll make sure it's there on my Facebook page as well. We appreciate well, hope it. People try them. Hey, Tom. Hope you don't get sick, but you know what? Some great <laughs> ideas if you do. Mm, <laughs> onions and honey. I still got to get my um, wrap my arms around that one.